Hi guys, today I'm here with this powerful 120 watts 12C van solar panel and I want to show you how good we can charge this I river power station. I have a lot of experience regarding charging such power stations with solar panels because we had three hurricanes last year. Of course, you can use gas generators, but they produce a lot of noise and they also consume a lot of gas. So I'm always trying to use solar panels and I've been using them a lot and I've been very successful with them during these three major hurricanes. We had power outages usually for around one week and I've been able to power our phones, the light and even a small fridge with such power stations. So it has always been working really good, but not perfect, especially I had two problems. And I think with this 12C van solar panel, we can solve that, but I'm going to tell you what these problems really were. So here we have it. You can see a really nice, very compact portable comes with this really nice handle and the large pouch with the accessories inside. Of course, in the original package, the accessories are here, but you can take everything out and store it in the original pouch. And so I come a little bit closer so you can see the nice accessories. So we get different DC adapters and we have this MC4, but not MC4 to MC4. But on the other side, you can see what we have, a huge range of plugs here, which fit probably for 99% of all the power stations. And this has always been a problem for me. I was using a lot of different brands of solar panels and power stations, and it was super hard to fit them to each other. But with this cable, I've never seen that before. With this cable, this solves a lot of these issues. So for example, in this case, with this eye river, what we have, I think it's called the Anderson, and this is what we have exactly in this one to five cables we can just plug it in here absolutely awesome i've been struggling so much with some other solar panels and here super easy connection also folding unfolding can sometimes be an issue but let's see how this works here so we have this velcro here in the back which holds everything together folds unfolds very easy we have these quick stands here in the back also velcro so of course i have to turn it around so the solar panel is facing the sun i could of course use it already like that without the kickstand but of course you want to have maximum power so i lean it a little bit to the back using these kickstands here yeah, it works really good would say solid construction we don't have to fear that with a little bit of wind, it's flipping over. That's definitely not going to happen here. Also really nice that we have this very long MC4 cable in the back. So you can, for example, hide your power station somewhere in the shade. It's not recommended to leave it in full sun. But here also nice because of the large kickstand, we can also hide it in the back. So this gives nice sun protection also against a little bit of rain or so. I mean, the solar panel is waterproof as well. And so let's connect here the standard MC4. And now let's go to the back where I have stored the power station. Let's check a little bit on the charge and it shows a whopping 104 watts input. I've always been thinking 100 watts input would be the maximum. I've never seen that before on this power station and you can see it stays absolutely perfectly solid at exactly 104 watts. So of course we have January here and so of course at the moment this is not the maximum of sun which we can get here in summer of course we can get much more power but this is already super impressive 104 watts that's much more than everything what I've seen so far for this power station I've always been struggling to really fill it up efficiently in short time with other solar panels. Maybe it's even the maximum charge of 100 watts here for this power station, which this solar panel is a little bit exceeding. So maybe it blocks it even from going higher. That's the case with a lot of 
power station. A lot of them have a maximum input of 100 watts, but I can tell you it's not advised to buy then 100 watts solar panel because usually they charge only with around 60, maybe 70 watts or so. So when you have a power station with a maximum input of around 100 watts, I highly recommend to buy something like that with, for example, 120 watts. You can really use the maximum input power of 100 watts and you don't have to wait the whole day till it's charged. A lot of power stations have around 300 watt hours, so like that, this would fill it up in only three hours. That's absolutely impressive. But you can charge even more as you can see, we have more ports here on the right side of this controller. You can see two times USB-A and even USB-C. So you have another USB with maximum of 60 watts, while the MC4 has a maximum of 120 watts. And so I've plugged in my phone here as well. That's also charging here. You can see it starts automatically and goes into charge, while the power station is also still charging at high speed. We are now down at 97 watts, but still 97 while also the phone charging at the same time. So we definitely have still more than 100 watts. And so this is a little bit later. So let's check what's still going on. And you can see absolutely amazing here what we have still very, very close to 100 watts. Absolutely no change. And I mean, in total, we have, of course, more than 100 watts with the phone and the power station in total. And the solar panel is not in a perfect angle. You can see it's a little bit leaning to the side. It's not even a perfect 90 degrees angle. So we could definitely get even more power than that. That's absolutely amazing. Definitely the best solar panel panel I've ever had and tested here. There's no doubt about that. And so if you're interested, I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order one for you if you like it. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments or want to share your own experience with this solar panel, then just let us know down in the feedback area. I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.